This here is pretty exciting. This may be the first ever pellet extrusion on a TiVo Tornado. Okay, it's kind of rigged up all janky right now, but I'll, I'll fix the wiring. But it printed um, beautifully. Now, this just goes to show the difference between a rigid head, which is critical for any kind of machine tool or 3D printer, versus I had a uh, kind of flimsy um, flimsy head mount before, and it and it was uh, really skewing the print. But this is for, this one here is from my new rigid aluminum mount. Beautiful print. Wow. Holy moly, I'm excited. My Mejor XYZ head came in the mail today from Spain. And um, I ordered ex an extra bag here of PLA, but I think it came with this PLA already. Alright, it came with this uh, stepper, a couple fans, some mounts the extruder heater um, I'm pretty excited to start digging into this it doesn't have any instruction form or sheet or anything so I'll, I'll look online and print that out I'll download the Thingiverse files for the plastic parts and then 3D print them at home I'll tell you what, this is freaking cool. This is some Spanish magic right here. There we go, printing the Mejor parts in red PLA on my TiVo Tornado. It's always a great feeling to wake up the next morning and there's your prints, fully printed, sitting on the bed. Here's the key. Go to mayhorxyz.xyz forward slash downloads this extruder data sheet um, and then this will tell you how to put this together. Uh, it didn't come with it so I had to uh, do some searching to find it. Here it is so far. This thing's starting to come together. I'll show a couple of views from different angles here in case you're trying to put this together at home. This is going to go on top like this. And then I think this is for mounting this head to your 3D printer. And then this, I gotta, I gotta figure out where this goes. Here it is roughly put together. I haven't put in the heating unit or the thermistor. I'm gonna, t I wanna test the motor next step to see if I can get it to turn. I'll probably separate it from the rest of the assembly here. Here's the plan. I got my TiVo Tornado here. I'm able to move the x-axis here. So I have my, I have my TiVo Tornado. I'm able to move the x-axis. I'm going to just experiment see if I can get this Mayhor XYZ to move. I'm going to take this cable and I'm going to put a new cable in there. I'll splice these together and uh, see if I can get things moving. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is moving here. Alright, so what I did is I used wire nuts to splice these together, just match the colors, you know, red to red, blue to blue, green to green, black to black. Uh, I cut into the x-axis because uh, I'm not able to move the extruder axis on this machine for some reason. 
uh, when it's, uh, I guess, not heated or something. Anyway, maybe that, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, it's, wor it's uh, moving. This is very exciting. Alright, this is pretty neat right now. I'm doing like a virtual run. Um, the, the e, this is now connected to the E-axis. I have everything wire nutted together. Um, but, it's moving. It's moving. I gotta make sure it's moving in the right direction. Um, but uh, I'm using the default TiVo Tornado heater and thermistor. It's a 40 watt heating element quarter inch wide by three quarter inches long and uh, that was able to heat up the block here the one that came with this is a 50 watt 24 volt but this is running a hundred and uh, this is running mains power 120 volts 40 watts it still took a minute or two to heat up the uh, the hot end here but uh, the cool thing is it's uh, moving you know this is uh, you know, X, Y, Z, and E are all working right now. Alright, some more good news. The auger is spinning in the correct direction. As it's rotating, if there were pellets in here, it would force the pellets down into the heated extruder head. The head kind of smells funny a little bit, too, as it's heated. But uh, who knows, I don't know if that's going to last, or if that'll go away with time. Here it is! Yeah, baby! The first little bit of PLA coming out of the head. I heated it up a little bit uh, past the normal temperature. It's at 230 right now. I just figured that this heated block is bigger and needs some more uh, heat. But this is it, the first PLA coming out. I filled in a, about uh, maybe like a fifth of the bag and uh, need to load some more into this little hopper thing. Alright, what I've done is I got rid of the bracket that was down in here and adjusted this to account for the extra height here on the Z-axis uh, limit switch, home limit switch. So that's one thing that needs to be adjusted and then I'll do the fine adjustment with the uh, the screws here so we're just a little bit above the the build plate and then I'll fine-tune it with the screws this is a little bit uh, flimsy in the y-axis I could make a different kind of adapter a more rigid adapter here uh, you know if this is moving rapidly it's gonna not be very accurate stuff's coming out the nozzle we're at 220 Just gonna send it. Uh oh. I hadn't thought about it, but um, yeah, I had to move this limit switch up because this is shifted from the normal head. Here's the first thing I ever printed with this new head. I'm going to turn this down to 305, the E steps per unit. made a new bracket here to connect between the head and the TiVo. It's a lot more rigid than before. Okay, printing. Printing a uh, little shell. One inch by one inch by quarter inch tall. It's actually working. It's actually working. Sweet. All right, took about 10 minutes, there it is. I've made this custom aluminum mount to mount the head to my TiVo. 
but um, I might have to remake it. I noticed the holes might be slightly off. I used a bandsaw and uh, drill press and grinder. It's .09 aluminum. Everything's wire nutted together. Real crude test. I got the new aluminum panel all hooked up here. It's a lot more rigid than before. And I'm printing a one inch by one inch test shell. It's a quarter inch high, 16th inch wall thickness. Uh, this is pretty exciting. This is my first successfully printed part on the TiVo Tornado with the pellet extruder head.